Yo, 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 you rockin' with the freshest the cruise review on 4i Fly. And TP. Yeah, yeah, back with another review. Back with, you know, somebody that's been on the scene here lately a lot. You know, uh, mm. binging out, binging out these albums. A lot of, a lot of people call him the uh, new generation Dre. Mmm. Dre, Dre gave him a shout out here recently. Yeah. On, on, on the album um, we just did, you know what I'm saying? Big, big shout out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, in this quarantine era, he, he's been binging them out and he, he's got a few more um, he, he's binging out. I, I don't think it's another producer this year that's been binging them out like this. Yeah, 220, this has been a, a big year for him. Yeah, uh, I think uh, 2012, 2012 was his uh, beginning type coming out, beginning year coming out. Yeah, but uh, with uh, the the last two projects that that we reviewed recently, this is real relevant because the project that we about to do is gonna d display his. Uh, is MC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, not not rap for his MC. Yeah. Let's 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 make that clear <laughs> one more time cuz for some reason a lot of y'all keep getting it misconstrued. Y'all y'all you know what I'm saying? This, this ain't no rapper channel, man. <laughs> If, if you looking for the commercial rapper albums, go to the mother dudes to be sitting in the park parking lot or they parking garage and, and, and watch them because this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. This this is straight lyrical hip hop, underground hip hop right here. You know what I'm saying? So, like bro said, this this ain't raw. This, yeah rough rugged and raw. This this ain't no rapper you're not you're not gonna get that here sorry you're not but yeah this you know um like i said he's been binging them out producer wise but this is gonna showcase you know his mc like bro said you know what i'm saying so you get get a little bit of both or or whatnot you know we we review the um i guess you could say yeah Probably the last two reviews we, yeah, we've done. Yeah, definitely yeah, the yeah. last two. Yeah, uh, you know the Nas project and the uh, the Conway. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you 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 got more of the the producer on those. Not to take that away from this project, but you know we we're gonna factor on the, you know the other side of that, which is the lyricism. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know. A lot, a lot of you people, you know, moving forward, man, you know, uh, really factor on that because a lot of artists is uh, being overlooked because of that, that detail of commercialism or whatever. And, you know, an album like this kind of showcases what, what the essence is and really where it's going back to, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's especially with these last two albums that we detail with the Nas and the Conway, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot of proof, you know what I'm saying, that lyricism is, you know, it's, it's, it's getting back there, you know what I'm saying, you, you can really tell with a lot of artists, even a lot of commercial, you know, artists is really factoring more on lyricism with their features, you know, um, mm -hmm with the, the type of beats that, that they're choosing. A lot of people are, so, you know, um, a lot of y'all factoring on them commercial dudes. Craig Craig Mack said it best. <laughs> you won't be around next year. A lot, a lot of these people, it ain't gonna be around for long. Cause when it, when it really gets there, you really gonna be able to, you know, see the who's who, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? On the rail. So tell them, tell them what we talking about, bro. Hit boy, yeah, straight up, yeah. The uh, the album or the project is called the Chauncey Hollis Project. 
Yeah, you know, it, it, when I first seen it, I, I kind of took it for an EP. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but it it, it it don't matter if it's an album or EP, no more to me, really. You know what I'm saying? Because both of them got the same feel with, with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's all uh, original material. Absolutely. So I mean, yeah. You know, it's not really considered what you consider a mixtape. Yeah. But hell, but uh, when Prodigy dropped the uh, what is it, the Maggots back, that was uh, considered a mixtape. But yeah, it didn't it didn't play like no mixtape really. Play not like at a, all. Play like an album. Yeah, because that you know. They had a lot of concept to it, you know what I'm saying, and and a lot of, a lot of these EPs that people are dropping, that that was a good one to name too, mm -hmm, yeah. you know. But uh, a lot of these uh, EPs have are uh, having more concept to them, so they have an album feel, you know what I'm saying. Um, look at uh, uh, the Alchemist and, and Conway EP that they okay, dropped, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, has a has a lot of album feel to it. I mean, hell, look look at Alfredo. Yeah, that's that's the perfect example yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and another thing that's detailed is um, a lot of people are going back to one producer for a lot of EPs and albums. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Which is amazing. You know, just to have you know. Uh, a one bass mm -hmm. or whatever and you know to have a different arrangements of sounds on a project so you know yeah but it's a lot of things to detail with this that we're gonna get into um you know and check it out you know uh we're gonna we're gonna a and r it to the uh, our best of ability y'all a and r we, you know you, you already know we did the uh the k7 or whatnot the seven picks of the album so yeah we're gonna get into it Let's get into this first track. What we got, bro? Uh, first string. The real pain, that shit true. This ain't a scrimmage, it's the real game. The fake shit get cut, no scissors. They trying to tell me to pipe down, nigga. Shit is hard to explain. I can feel the evil eye behind the shades. Making major plays, nigga. I've been up for days. I need that pie in the sky and I can't wait. Give him a piece of my phone with every pay. Uh, might be the verse to seal my fate. Fuck waiting till my wig to tell a nigga I'm great. Lick his feeling as I skate. That was a nice little uh reflection record. Uh Damn, what the fuck? Wow. Yeah, coming from uh my bad, I'm just seeing some shit that's crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. It's better than a good face. That's what some would say. Took all that I could take. One's lost is another man's game. One toss could be the end of the game. Nigga, practice on your aim to run. It was a good, uh, I guess, introduction to the, uh, a listener that probably haven't heard Hit Boy Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he was just kind of getting getting to his uh, you know element his own, and the production it was it was it was a good beat, man. Absolutely. I mean, I think he did a a good job of production on here. You know, it's gonna be y'all gonna detail. It's gonna be a lot a lot soulful. It's gonna it's gonna be reminiscent of of the old Kanye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> saying so uh starting out i give it i think i give it about seven and a half seven seven and a half yeah. what you think yeah it sounds like uh graduation uh pre-kanye mm -hmm. you you can tell the uh, similarities a whole lot between him and Ye on there, you know, production wise and, and lyrically. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know why Kanye 
got away from that. You know, that's a whole different subject. <laughs> but, you know, also you can hear a lot of consequence in it too. Mm, yeah. You know. And think about that, but yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you know that 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 good mu uh, music consequence. You know, um, I thought it was I thought it was a cool intro. You know, the the cadence of it was 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 dope. You know, real soulful, like you said. You know, uh, I think I think it's fair with what you said. I, I give it about a seven and a half as well. You know. Um, not to give or take anything away from it, but yeah, I thought it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, from a a, a bass producer m more than anything. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, let's get into this number two. Jazz what up? Being young and black, man, that shit like suicide. White man get promoted, black man get crucified. Speaking from experience, move at your own rhythm. Yeah, that was coming from a uh, real, very relevant topic of what's happening right now in the current era. So, absolutely. Betrayal on the balls by Ampicino and Jizzle. Synchronized swimming in this cash for real. Bruce Wayne parked out front in a Batmobile. Family dinner at Roku. Faded off my time, the heaviness of the truth. The Reverend told me I was special as a Uber. Living a hell of a life, I must be heaven bound. Had to lock in, come up with a better style. Now I got my method, man, like I rep to cow. Might as well take it in when I bring them a clearing now. Young and black. Yeah. Number number two record. Um, I play that record, you know, kind of to display that that you know he got he got socially conscious on this record. Mm -hmm. um, you know the uh, the chorus speak for itself. Yeah. You know so uh, the beat is very reminiscent of Kanye college dropout type. Yeah. Oh, that type of era. So I mean, you can tell like the influence. Mm -hmm. Also, you can tell you know the versatility of hip hop. You know him working with various uh, other artists. You know? Yeah. This record, uh, I think I will give it a solid seven. Okay. Seven, maybe seven and a half. All right. What you think? Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, I think he nailed it with the production. Uh, Kanye had a lot uh, college dropout feel towards it. Um, I name another one as well in there that it reminds me a lot of that. Oh, 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 oh. that is tired. Yeah, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck he was doing. I don't know. Sorry about the interruption, <laughs> I didn't know where that was coming from. Yeah. It, it reminds me a lot, you know, people forgot about um, High Tech, too. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Uh, Production-wise. Shout out to High Tech, Shout out man. to ha High Tech, man. He ain't nothing but about a, about a good, uh, about a good 90 miles from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, that exactly. Up in Natty. Up in Nasty Nitty, Dirty Bone. Um, even with the cadence of his of his rhyme style, you know, with that, uh, reminds me a lot of High Tech as well. Mm. You know, I didn't. Yeah, that's and, a uh, that's a good one. Yeah, you know, um, a lot. Yeah, of, where you at, High Tech? Where you been straight at? Straight up, man. You gotta <laughs> come put some out. You gotta drop the EP or something. Um, yeah, man. But the subject matter in detail in. Know, what he was playing off of and, and, and high keying was amazing, man. And, you know, uh, we need more of that. We need more of those subject matters, man, about what's going on and what's detailed in today. It's not. It's not enough of that. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough of. We need more. With you, with these new niggas coming out, with you unsigned artists paying attention. 
gonna tell you something. I'm gonna give you a jewel. Like, you know, a lot of y'all wanna come out. You know, y'all taking uh, y'all taking roles from these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? But what is wide open right now with you know social injustice and you know everything going on? We need some more public enemies. We need some more brand new beings. We need some more black stars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We need we need some more uh, jungle brothers. You know what I'm saying? We we need more of those than you know. We need niggas talking about I'm from the north. <laughs> we don't need no more niggas talking about they from the north. Yeah. Out of pill poppers. You don't need no more of those either. Zan, Zannies. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Know, I hate you one bit. But we we got enough of that. You know what I'm saying? But that that lane right there is wide open for somebody young and new. Straight up. Get my AR bag, I'm telling you. You you'll get more. Um, notice doing that then you will trying to you know ride the wave like these other niggas that's just doing it for money you know what I'm saying uh, with everything going on with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor you know rest in peace Breonna Taylor and you know uh, peace and love to her family as well um just from that subject alone, to detail, you know, if you're if you're a young um, unsigned female artist, that lane is wide open as well, even more for you to speak about things in that nature. Brianna Teller alone, for you to talk talk about the the wokeness of, of tokenness amongst your own people, that lane is wide open, straight up. So you, you need a you need a route to go in. That's the route people needs to go in, you know, because this record, you know, speaking about, you know, how he spoke about the white man gets promoted and the black man gets crucified. Mm -hmm. You know, that was very, very detailed, you know, from both sides of it you can look at. You can look at it from that side that he spoke about, but you can also look at it from the token side too, because you know we get crucified by our own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for a producer to get in his lyrical bag and speak about that, that's big, man. That's that's a big record that probably get overlooked. You know what I'm saying? But that's the record that needs to be played on on the radio. You know what I'm saying? DJs and stuff playing that garbage. This, these are the type of records young people needs to hear. You know what I'm saying? Going to school, learning about black history. You know what I'm saying? The new year is uh, about to arrive. February, all of that. Black history needs to be every month, no doubt. These are the records young black men and young black women need to hear. Because it's something that they can relate to. So, just from that, uh, Epicness, I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Mm. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half, man. You know what I'm saying? From, you know, the lyrical side of it and, and the, you know, the production. Just, you know, uh, because when you, when you hear the record, you automatically think Kanye. Kanye had to produce that. Or, you know, for the people that's really rough, raw, rugged, underground heads, you know, you, you know, probably would think high tech produced it but you know being that neither one of them did makes the, the record even better yeah. So, yeah just just based off of those uh attributes yeah i, I give it a eight and a half mm -hmm. straight up so for number three bro right it's going to be ice cold <laughs> Takes me back to RZA. Uh, 
Sounds like a 2020 version of a RZA uh, type, Wu Tang type beat. Yeah, yeah. People say they praying for me, really praying on me. Up the mouth, yeah, you gotta pay the homie. The big dog levels, I work for the shit. Y'all got too many comments, so clearly this. Hey, fuck how you feel, courtesy of half a meal. Watch your guests, grab the bills, that's just how I feel. Hey, back against the wall, going for the kill. Thinking about my millions, it give me the chills. How cold, ice cold, how cold, ice cold, how cold, ice cold. You can uh, really tell the the influences the artist that he works with has on him, which is amazing. It's usually the other way around. Um, with the producer influencing the artist, the artist. You know what I'm saying? But this is dope. But uh, Thank God for the blessings that I'm leaving now. This ain't regular Chinese. I speak Jesus. Nigga, please, what could you tell me? My pops back down, that's another felony That's at least another 12, that's why I scream for 12 In my drum 12, I know what it comes to They won't catch my bitch in a fashion over jumpsuit 26 years of age, take a sick picture I swear these hoes are today, gotta think clear Yeah, that was ice cold Ice cold Yeah, that was a very bar heavy uh, record Yeah, very bar heavy, I think this record right here to me is probably the best record on the uh, project, mm. you know, for me. Okay. Just, you know, with everything put in the pot, the, uh, uh, I think he got into his bag, uh, so far as, uh, rhymes, um, you know, the beat, very, very dope beat, and the, uh, and the energy on it was great. Yeah. In the uh, you know the chorus, you know, not to not to keep keep the uh, the comparison, but you know the, you know the chorus even sounds like the how how Kanye will come. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, but overall, I think I give this record a solid eight. Mm, that's fair. Eight, eight point five, maybe. Yeah. That's super fair, man. Yeah. For me, this sounds like a. Uh, this sounds heavily the Detroit infused. Mm. Sounds like a, a mixture between Elza and Big Sean. Mm. To me, it's flow pattern. It's Katie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. with a you know a sprinkle of Kanye on the production, you know uh, his, his pattern, his, his wordplay, and everything, you know, and some of the words he chose, you know, re it really, really reminds me of you know Sean Don a whole lot, especially with you know Sean's uh, new album, uh, okay. which I believe was all produced by Hit Boy as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. Yeah, you know, it was, it was dope. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it, you know, had that that northern lyricism to it. You know, kind of, kind of like a, a a hint of slum village. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but, but dope. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I I give it a solid eight as well. I think that I think that was the perfect uh, high key to. To, uh, playoff uh, right there, so yeah, I give it a solid eight, bro. Exactly, yeah. So, what we got for number four? The Waterman. The first world, man. They try to say I'm lucky enough. Styles on styles, flip modes like what's a bus. I'm gonna roll the back one for the dogs. If it ain't about to play, put that shit on pause. We'll do the same thing, stack large amounts. I see you working out on your Instagram account. That's the perfect uh, road record, so. So far as the beat goes, yeah, being on the road like we are now, you know, coasting. Yeah, <laughs> no rose petals, I might show up with some head and some kills on for my cousin Dan. Still remember my first time touching ten. Now when they get to the gate, gotta buzz them in. Nothing like the minutes of society trying to see. The vibe of it brings me back to Consequence and Q-Tip. 
Yeah, absolutely. Maybe like a, a, a trap called Quest. Absolutely. Man, it was a good. It was a good record, man. I think I will give this another seven and a half. Oh, okay. shine on it especially you know uh the, the stretch of the the last word okay. you know and then uh coming back in mm -hmm. you know taking the break the uh uh and then coming back in you know uh that shine dines cadence which is you know it's dope to hear it on another voice you know what i'm saying right. but uh i again you know i mean knows if that, you know, if, if Sean Don, uh, if, if that's something he invented, or maybe, you know, could be possibly that he played off of Kanye, mm -hmm. you know, good music, or whatnot, you know, either way, it's dope, you know, uh, I really like that record, you know, like you said, it's a, it's a coaster record, something you can ride to. I'm saying um, a lot of these records are records that you ride to. You don't really uh, push the forward, but you just let them rock out and ride to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that one, you know, definitely uh, has that feel and that appeal to it. You know what I'm saying, which is dope. Uh, I, I, I give it a solid eight. Okay. Yeah, I give it a solid eight. Just off of off of that vibe. So yeah. Number five record is gonna be All Business. Featuring okay. Benny the Butcher. Huh. Gunpowder in my clothing, off the clip and unloading. We the really shoot a Kobe, I'm back and I'm better, Brody. Man, T in a two tone rollie, two hands up. Niggas trying to block me like a goalie. Thugs and parolees, some of my closest homies. It's the way these niggas move while we ain't clicking. I can hear the sneak just in the playback. Niggas wouldn't see me one on one and say that. That record man has a has a real big infamous feel to it. it that sounds like a havoc produced record. Mm. Even his cadence, the way he was rhyming, reminds me a lot of H A V O C. If you go back and listen to it, uh it, it'll remind you of the way Havoc's wordplay is. You can really put his voice over a lot of those those bars and you know you, you can see what i'm saying we paid the cost i got the shit ringing off see the smoke from the exhaust when i pill out kid 10 plus in the shit and they still down here i should have niggas a contract like fill out this i scared it off let's go bulletproof the bins lost a few friends but made so much hoes think i played for the red skins Throwing smoke got a gas mask back and dough up in trash bags streets are double crossing like octane record yeah yeah it was you know um you know it's very uh cool to hear three verses you know yeah. i think that last one probably was what 12 maybe from hit boy then benny benny came in with it yeah you know a lot of you don't hear a lot of records kind of do that yeah you know it kind of when i first time i heard it kind of threw me off i'm like where, when, when's, when's Benny coming in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, the song's almost over. I'm like, what do you do? He try to, you know, he put that on there as a feature, try to get everybody to listen to it or something. Yeah. So then when he came in, I'm like, okay. But, um, yeah, I think it was a dope record, man. Uh, very solid. Uh, yeah. Overall, I think I'll probably give this uh, 7.8. Oh, okay. Almost 8. Okay. You know, so they did they, they did their thing on it. Yeah. It was dope. Like you said, it was high octane from the jump. Um that's I, I think that's my favorite off 
off the, the album. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just because it has that, that infamous feel to it. I, I can really hear P on that record. You know, Benny did his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that 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 needed that needed some infamous on it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. You know what I'm saying? P P would have murdered it. Not saying Benny didn't, not saying that Hit Boy didn't. But you know what I'm saying? That 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 record was was straight up in, I can hear, you know what I'm saying, Lord, Lord on that record too. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? That, that's yeah. that's one of those, you know, high high chain uh, flea lord records too. You know? And so we got number six. Yeah. Uh no celebrations. Uh -huh. The real reeling in the big catch. Scrolling through my index like I rip a crimp set. Spraying blood, sucking insects. Hope it make a big mess. Like they bathing in Windex uh, Came a long way but ain't no celebrations Lead by example, lead by demonstration Might have been scarred but shit ain't adoption Can't trust some nigga talking Singing like Randy Watson, nigga Keep <laughs> the game, bitches change, niggas change End of the day, the real we made, what more can I say? Yeah, that was heavy, uh Good music vibe right there Absolutely Um, another, uh, producer that comes to mind for me is no ID. Absolutely. No ID. Right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, no ID. And uh I would have loved to hear comment on a record like that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, I was gonna mention that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I love to hear, you know, comment, comment on a record like yeah. that. And hell man, that might be um a future collaboration. Um, yeah. Maybe a future album. Yeah. That needs to happen, man. You know. Y'all need, yo. A and R's. <laughs> Common and uh, Hit Boy. Hit Boy. Yeah. That needs to happen. Straight up. That niggas quit sleeping on Common, man. Common. Common is one of the top MCs, man, that gets overlooked in a lot of people's books. You know what I'm saying, but Common's one of he's one of the best MCs ever, straight up. But yeah. like Bro said, that that'll be a dope collaboration. That's something that definitely needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's a um I think I would give that just just with the beat and everything put together, I think I might give that a solid eight. Yeah. You know, for me. Yeah. I give it a solid eight as well, man. Um, you took the words right out of my mouth with comment. That's that's what I was gonna mention. Um, I would I would have loved to hear him come in on that one. Mm -hmm. You know, that that was a uh, perfect, perfectly fit for comment. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think anymore that comments on good music. I don't know. Heard some of his best MC while he was with good music, so yeah, you know, which is why that collaboration needs to happen. I think Hit Boy can probably bring, bring the best out of Common, you know what I'm saying? Um, sort of, sort of in the same detail of which, uh, you know, happened with Nas in the album, yeah. Uh, Kanye really didn't factor up on. Nods like Hit Boy did, yeah. you know. So maybe, maybe Hit Boy can, you know, bring that, you know, that other element out of Rashid that, you know, yeah. we didn't get a chance to get with, you know, with Kanye. So, you know, and, yeah. And being that Hit Boy does music with a lot of artists from different generations, that he's get he gets different vibes. Like I seen on the interview where he was talking about the Nas Project, where uh, how, how he was brought up in the game was a traditional, uh, you know, MC type of uh, vibe. Yeah. But with him working with uh, Juice World, with him working with Juice World and uh, guys like that, he was able to see uh, how how they do their music, like, you know, sometimes they would just record 
four bars and come back later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he kind of did that with Nas. Like, Nas asked him, uh, you know, does this sound good or whatever? He's like, yeah, go go ahead and lay that down. Then we'll come back and we'll dwell on it. Then we'll go back in, you know, and uh, lay some more down. So Yeah, the punch and go. Yeah, yeah. So that concept of uh, him being around different artists and seeing how different artists uh, produce, he was able to put some of that new element with uh, veteran artists yeah. and, and, and bring a different uh, ingredient out. So yeah, it's definitely. No dudes are racing on this seaway. Yeah, crazy, Not, man. You know. <laughs> Dudes with these new uh, challenges Char and charges, charges, man. You know, in, in these car clubs, you some, yeah. of the, some of the wackest niggas ever. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. This nigga, <laughs> Mexican with a box, like. Oh, <laughs> you know, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of you, a lot of you niggas just do that because it's the same way with the kicks. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all niggas just do that to get bitches and. Yeah. Nigga still don't be getting them. Yeah, exactly. Like, nigga, how you, how you got a demon and you ain't got a demon with you on demon time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, I ain't did the all subjects in a while, so. Yeah. But, but I, ain't did a, I ain't did a quarantine all subject. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quarantine all subject. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway. But now nah, we got number seven. We got the K7. So what we got, bro? Uh, nominated featuring Dom Kennedy.
sometimes the things that don't make sense when it happens it makes sense and that's that's a high factor when it comes to Hit Boy and Dom Kennedy. You know, um, a lot a lot more of this needs to happen for a lot of artists. I'm not gonna name any particular cause you know I don't want anybody to get in their feelings but you know not and it's not to say that you know uh, Hit Boy or Dom Kennedy can't take off by themselves but sometimes when you collab when people collab you know they get more attention than what they did when they was you know just yeah. a, a solo artist so you know a lot of artists that ain't really you know getting that maybe you know collaborate you know collaborating with another art artist can you know get you there and it might you know it might give you a whole different play from what you already look like so Bobby you know, Creek Water Stat Quo yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gon' we gon' get into that later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to throw that in there. Yeah, man. You know, a lot, a lot of artists. You know, well, whether you whether you made it or not, you know what I'm saying. It it, it won't hurt. You know, I, I like to see more artists from from the east collaborate with more artists from the west. You know what I'm saying. Do do projects together or whatnot. You know what I'm saying. Just to you know, just to give uh, a, a different ingredient, you know what I'm saying, to, to the meal or whatever, you know. I know a lot a lot of artists are super cool with each other, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, a lot of artists fly out out west, you know. Uh, we probably, I, I know they got songs, but, you know, it's unfortunate of, of Nipsey's death because it would have been super dope you know, in a, in a in a red man met the man way to hear Nip in, in Dave East. Oh yeah, it would have been super dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, With them definitely. doing a project together like that. So, you know, you never know when somebody's last is gonna be here. So, you know, that's why I say, you know, more more of that needs to happen with, with artists. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you made it or not but like bro said you know a lot of um it was a lot of nip in influences were nominated and you know that that alone um is just that's that's epic you know to even for that to even be a subject matter or even be a thing you know what i'm saying so uh it just may be this is the best record on the album just because of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, any anything Nipsey influenced is 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 a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um off of that, with with the cadence and everything, the subject matter, you know, it it, it deserves a a high grade. So I you know I, I get that I give it about an eight point one, eight point two. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Overall, with the project detail, with you know our K7 and even the songs we we didn't pick to play on this album, you know, it's a pretty good album. Produ yeah. you know, production wise and, and lyric wise, it's, it's pretty good. I, I probably give it about a 7.5 all together. What yeah, you say, you read, bro? You read my mind. I was just about to say a 7.5, and really. On this uh, project, you can really just let it play. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not nothing really, uh, you know, too much skippable, skippable yeah. on the uh, on the project. So a seven point five, I think that's a fair that's a fair assessment. Yeah. So uh, yeah, man, y'all y'all keep looking out for Hit Boy. Absolutely. And uh, I know he got another project that. Uh, courtesy of half a mil. Initially, we was gonna do that one, but I felt this was more focused on him. So we wanted kind of to highlight Hit Boy. Yeah. As a as an MC, you know. So definitely, man. So seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah. Yeah. You know. 
you didn't get a chance to check the album, go, you know, go listen to it for yourself, listen to the songs we we didn't detail and A and R it yourself. You know yeah, saying? man, y'all leave some comments too. Yeah. Y'all yeah. y'all y'all leave some comments, man, and tell us what y'all think. Yeah. On uh the records we play, the records we should have played, and the records, you know, y'all that y'all feel that's the best ones out of the out of the album, so yeah, yeah. So we'll 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 get back with y'all. Nevertheless, you rocking with the freshest the cruise review on Four Hour Fly and TP. Out of here, yo. Yeah. Straight up. It is.